We come now to the last objective of this webinar, to align your maintenance strategy to the tools to use in handling effectively the execution of maintenance strategy. There are some basic features a computerized maintenance management software has that is very useful like task scheduling, recording equipment history, audit and certification, managing inventory, work requests, tracking work orders, and many other things. Your tools, which is the CMMS, actually any industry requiring asset maintenance is a candidate for using CMMS. There are lots of software out there. You have SAP PM, very familiar siguro sa inyo yan. Then MapCon, eMaintenance, Micromain, SeaWorks, Asset Management. But I will just discuss here the basic features you need for a CMMS before you select and inquire what CMMS software you need. So I will be uh, flashing the contact number for the supplier of CMMS software so you can contact them. So the basic features are equipment data management, maintenance management, labor resource management, work order system, scheduling and planning, vendor and supplier management, inventory management, reports management, and others like integration. Let us see some quick details of those features. For equipment data management features, this pertains to specification parts list and any equipment data to manage your asset in a long run. For maintenance management, these features provide several maintenance strategies that will fit your organization's need. It provides all the elements of maintenance program like inspection guide, um, like <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> It provides all the elements of maintenance program like inspection guide, PM activity, PM frequencies, people, parts, master schedule, and automation of work. For labor resource management feature, this feature of labor resource allow us to manage people and their schedule, skill sets, contacts, and early rates, and other related parameters pertaining to labor resource. So, for work order system, this feature of work order system is the heart of the CMMS software. Actually, they initiate, they track, and record everything related to maintenance activities. The work order is start as a request for work, scheduling the work, performing the work, and finally recording the work done. All work order contained all data about the work that become part of the history of the equipment that will later be useful in planning and analysis. For scheduling and planning, this feature of scheduling and planning saves a lot of time for engineers because it includes allocation of resources, crops, spare parts, and its impact to the operation when you do some planning and scheduling. And then another feature is Vendor Supplier Management. This feature of vendor and supplier records gives you ease to connect services you need and the parts you need in your equipment with those data coming from vendor and your supplier. Related to this is the inventory management. This feature on inventory allows engineer to properly plan the works to be executed and to avoid operations downtime. And then, ang pinakasikat dito na feature is what we call the management report. These features help managers and stockholders get a clear picture how the department works, the health of all the assets, and its impact to the business when it reaches the replacement age. It helps the management to understand the business better. This report actually features follow the management thinker Peter Drucker which he mentioned that if you cannot measure something, then you cannot improve it. So sample standard reports are cost, equipment inventory, labor report, work order backlog, downtime report, failure codes, vendor monitoring, stock level, inventory list, then uh, the best of top tens. So 
madaming report pero those are the major things that you need in managing your department. When you are looking for a CMMS software, look for the following capability, those things that I mentioned above. Okay? So, maraming nagtatanong kasi, why CMMS fails? Meron na kami yan, nakabili na kayo, hindi rin naman gumana. This is the answer. CMMS fails because of lack of management support. Even though you buy the software without management support, the, the program is nothing or it is useless. Walang, walang support eh, di ba? So, kailangan meron pa rin support ang management with regards to the use of that software. Next is, employees resistance. Minsan, ang reason ng iba, sanay na sila sa old process, bakit kailangan pa ng bago? So, it's another failure for of CMMS implementation. Employees torn over. Ang tao na minsan inasign natin dito, after hindi niya pa naman master, aalisin na uli siya, hindi pa puli na intindihan ang the whole picture why CMMS was used in their company, and then iiwanan niya na yon, bibigay ng panibagong tao. So, another reason why CMMS fail. And then is wrong selection of CMMS software. So, minsan, nadadala tayo sa madaming features ng software. In the end, mali pala yung software na nabili natin. Minsan, tayo ang susunod sa software, hindi yung software ang sumusunod sa process natin. So, dapat merong meeting of uh, ano yan, processes. So, dapat piliin nyo, hindi naman lahat magpipit sa organization nyo, sa organization natin. So, dapat magkakaroon kayo ng meeting kung saan yung mga process ng software na naka-align sa process ninyo. Okay? Number uh, another is lack of training. Minsan kulang sa training ang mga tao and KPI was not established. Kaya sometimes it is a cause of why CMMS fail. Lack of management monitoring. Since hindi naman nagmo-monitor ng result ang management, then the system die naturally. So dapat kung ano yung mga KPI and reports, dapat sinasubmit yan sa management and the managers understand the importance of those reports. Okay? Then, lack of supplier support. Minsan, nabentahan ka lang, they never support you until na mag-mature ang process. Support was not given. Actually, once we, we buy a CMMS software, yung one year niya, napaka-baby pa. So, mga two years niya, nag, nagpa-polishing ka pa lang. And then, sa mga three years and four and five, nagiging mature na yung system. Okay? So, when you look for CMMS, make sure you turn those reasons to positive spin so that your CMMS will work. So, let me share with you a simple reports from CMMS. Okay? Hindi naman ganun kadaming report, pero show ko lang ng konti. There's a lot of report to show, but I can't present it here for the reason of time. So, malapit na yata akong mata uh, matapos. Here's a sample of report for preventive maintenance performance indicator. PM compliance, backlog monitoring, and top equipment downtime. This report... This report has a lot of details and was not shown here. If you want to see work order compliance, you can also monitor the, uh, something like this. PM compliance for the day, PM compliance for the month, open repair work order, completed repair work order, and overdue repair work order wherein you can focus to reorganize your activity in engineering when you see this kind of report and many other reports you can generate that will help your department to manage all your asset okay there's a lot of things we can discuss with regard to these software tools but it's just part of this topic now we come near to the end of this seminar so please allow me to recap what we have learned just a recap of what we have learned so far so we have learned the 10 concept of maintenance management we have learned to identify the eight important system of the dynamic building that needs PM strategy, PM activity, PM services, defined frequency of PM, and routine inspection. We also learned the best four maintenance strategies that fits our facilities like run to failure, preventive maintenance, 
predictive or condition-based maintenance and reliability-centered maintenance, where we learn that the best strategy is the combination of all the strategies. We have learned the life stages of an asset and its deterioration curve, which is useful to determine when the asset needs special attention. We have learned the asset replacement policy under the failure replacement, time-based replacement, age-based replacement, and condition-based replacement. We have learned the features of CMMS as a tool to use to manage assets that is aligned to our maintenance strategy. The report it gives to support engineering department budget and decision to hire management. We just scratched the surface of maintenance management. I hope that you learned something today with this seminar. Did you learn something today? Okay, that's good.